And then back to your questions about like where do you even start? So I, I think a common question I always get is like, okay, where's the next market I should go to? Like, like should I go to the same language? Um, if it's that's easier. Um, and even if I go same language, for example, Spanish, then that is that's me sorted because I'm covering Spanish and also Latin America. Like that would be yeah. a big, big market. So I kind of like that is one thing that I always like stop 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 for a second and think about that um, to start with. Sure, a language things is kind of quite easy to think about, but there are so many different things that um, will contribute to the success or not when you're in the you could have the language translated easily or you say it's English market, I can easily go to the UK or Australia because it's English. And so you will get there, but whether or not your business is going to grow um, in the way that you want, that is another matter. Like you could have a website at this, you can have uh, the products at this in that market, but your, your, subs your, your subscriptions um, or your growth or your profits revenue probably not going to be kind of equivalent to what you have in, in, in your home market. So one thing that I normally will do with um, clients sometimes at, or, or, or management is like, okay, let's step back a bit, like see which market you have in mind. Sure, you have a few markets and then you have a hypothesis as well, like why you think that market will, is a good one to go for. So, but then what exercise to do is think about two dimensions for me. It's one is like, think about the effort level that you have to put in for that market. And then also, if you want to say that, it's more on potentials of the market. Okay. So then you can map it out. Um, so for example, we can say, um, this is a big market. Uh, this is good in the potential side because uh, it has a very huge population. Um, my TAM, my total addressable market, or uh, in my serviceable uh, addressable market is going to be big because um, then that means it's a good thing. So there's high potential. But also you need to think about um, efforts, what efforts is going to be like, for example, is that going to be have a lot of this because it's a different language. So you need to figure out, you need to invest a bit more time on that, but it's also the legislation is very different in that market. Yeah. Um, you need to go through a lot of regulations, um, and everything to kind of be approved or certain things, or you need to think about actually, do you need to educate? or change the behavior of that market so that it will come to you and use your thing. So then the effort level will go really high. And that means you need a lot more investments. Even the potentials, the town is really high, but that, you know, that might not go together.